when I was growing up in the 60s, there was an awful lot of shame, like shame is taught. And I think we were very much, Ireland was a theocracy then. And I just, you know, we're born with original sin. You know, I already felt very ashamed about that. And I was terrified of getting into trouble with, with the teachers, with the priests, with the nuns. Um, I just absorbed. I mean, other people who are more resilient than me would not have found Ireland to be like that. But I just found it a very frightening place where the last thing that any woman particularly should do yes. is stick her head above, above the parapet. Like, after I made my first confession, um, you know, we were brought into the class and the teacher said, I bet you all feel so much lighter now. And I thought, no, I don't. Even at I mean, that age? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, this is God's wallop. And I wanted to say it, but my shame wouldn't let me. And did you carry that, that shame and fear up to, as I say, into your 20s when you started drinking? Do you, do you, is there a direct correlation? I don't know because, I mean, alcoholism is, is a genetic condition. Yes. But I suppose maybe the combination of that genetic condition, which is in my wider family, um, and, and the fact that I found life just always very frightening. I was always afraid, I was always catastrophizing, um, and I was always waiting for the worst to happen. Yeah. So alcohol made me feel what I thought normal was. Um, but no, like the shame is still, it's still easy to trigger in me.